it's easy for us to dine out with the choices we have in Bay Area dining, and that's the point. When you're enjoying a good meal, you can also be supporting the San Francisco and Marin food banks. Now, to explain, I have with me the executive director of the San Francisco and Marin food banks, Paul Ash, and also Scott Garrow, who is the CEO of GoodSearch.com, and Good Search is supporting the food bank uh, along with many, many other charities. Tell me a little bit about your company. Sure. The mission of Good Search is to empower anyone to change the world through simple everyday actions. We have three products where people can do this. Mm -hmm. Good Search, a web search product. Good Shop, a place where if you shop, we give a percent of purchase back to your favorite charity or school. And then Good Dining, which is the first ever national dine-out for charity program. We're partnered with 10,000 restaurants in the U.S. and over 200 restaurants in the Bay Area. And it's very simple. All you need to do is register. And when you do, if you pay with a credit card you register, up to 6% of the bill can go back to the San Francisco Food Bank or to your favorite charity or school. And what caught my eye is saying that we have many dining-out weeks or days or months here in the Bay Area, but in this case is dining out any time during the year and it still will benefit our charity of choice. That's right. It's 365 days a year that you can dine for the charity of choice. And there are great restaurants on it. Everything mm -hmm. from places like uh, Blowfish Sushi, the Soma Cafe, Ozumo right here in Oakland, mm -hmm. Calibri, where people can, through their everyday actions, make the world better. And that's really what our company is about and what good dining is about. So. As an example, 6% of my bill can go to the food bank in this case. And then the food bank, you join Good Dining as a way of, of raising monies that you always need. Well, it seems like a smart idea. We need support all year round. You know, people sort of, sort of associate food banks and hunger with the holidays. But the truth is we're operating every month of the year, every day of the month, trying to feed people. Exactly. And l let me give you a good example. And, and this is what caught my eye, too, for the viewers to understand. If I have a bill that's $100, tip and tax included, 6% of that bill can go to the food bank. That's correct. Okay, so that's $6. Paul, what can you do with $6? And a lot of people say $6 is not that significant. You know, it doesn't sound like that much, but when you donate that kind of money to a food bank, we can deliver $6 worth of food for every $1 donated. Because our food is donated, we have low costs, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a model that, that stretches people's donations further. Mm -hmm. So we take that $6 and turn it into $36 worth of food. Well, that sounds pretty good. It's a good deal. I know that food banks across the country are having trouble because a lot of people who have been put out of work, unemployed, they now were the ones that were donating. Now they find themselves in need of your services. Yeah. We see a lot of people who were former donors, or at least people who didn't need our services, mm -hmm. who since the recessions began, have, have, have really begun to populate our food pantry lines. They come weekly for, for a bag of groceries, for fresh produce, for things that they used to be able to afford themselves. Right. So it, it, it really is an amalgamation uh, of those at the very, very bottom mm -hmm. uh, of the income spectrum, plus people who, who used to have jobs, and, and, or people who now have jobs that just don't pay enough. In this expensive Bay Area, uh, people can have a job or several part-time jobs and still not be able to feed their families. Exactly. And the thing is, with um, good dining, it's high-end, down-to-family restaurants, and charities or nonprofit organizations can sign up with you and then I register. So I can go ahead and choose the, the, the one I want to the, have my money. That's correct. We have 105,000 charities and schools that are part of the broader Good Search family of products. Okay. And if you were to come in as a user to gooddining.com mm -hmm. or goodsearch.com, you would select from one of the available charities. And once you do that, you can give back and make the world better from your simple everyday actions. Does it have to be just one charity or how many charities can I give to? Sure. It's one at a time, but you can switch as frequently as you'd like. Okay. And now I know this is relatively new. So, Paul, you haven't received any money as yet, no, but the potential started. would be huge. Because if I travel, I can be still a good search or, and a good diner helping out no matter where I travel. Yeah. We think there's a lot of a lot of upside for us, and that's why we're participating. Uh, the idea that people can can go out to eat and sort of build philanthropy or charity into mm -hmm. their everyday actions is very appealing for mm -hmm. us. Well, and it's it's really a perfect fit, Paul. The notion of if you're fortunate enough to be able to pay for a meal to go out, feed someone who's hungry at the same time, that's very compelling benefit. And mm -hmm. why wouldn't you do it if there's over 200 restaurants right here in the right. Bay Area? And it's not costing me a dime, is it? That's correct. And we call this, you know, sort of uh, philanthropy or giving back. 
um, just through the actions that you have in your life. Right. And so what's what's really nice about that is that there's people who care about charities who may not have the financial means to incrementally go out to dinner with their family and donate to a charity, mm -hmm. and here they can do it uh, in once. Mm -hmm. And since, Paul, you do both Marin and San Francisco, yes. is there a difference in the need between the two counties? There is. There's a difference just in terms of numbers, and there's a difference in, just in terms of the complexion. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of numbers, there, there are fewer people as a percentage uh, right. who need our assistance in Marin County. In Marin County, it's surprisingly high, though. It's just under 20 percent. In San Francisco, it's over 20 percent. So you can see the numbers are somewhat different. But if you look at what happened during the recession, Marin was actually hurt worse in terms of the percent of change to okay. people who needed who came to to need food assistance. So they're different, but but there's a surprisingly large need in in, in both cities. Um, you know, we have healthy children's pantries uh, in in the schools in in both counties. Mm -hmm. So we're able to locate schools with. 60, 65 percent of the kids qualifying for free and reduced price meals in both counties. And the thing is, with budgets, statewide, local, nation, food banks are not getting the same kind of governmental support that you used to back in the, you know, the, back in the day. There's been pretty steady erosion, yeah. and, and this last few years we found that the commodities that we used to get from the Department of Agriculture have been slipping mm -hmm. and slipping and slipping as, as ag prices go up. They buy fewer, uh, fewer commodities. Uh, the, the food stamp program, that's now called SNAP, mm -hmm. uh, is part of the debate with the Farm Bill, and it looks like there's going to be a big bite taken out of that. That doesn't hurt the food bank, but it hurts our clients because that's food that they would be able to get through the government source, and that means that we're going to come to us and ask additional right, help. They come to you to supplement their, right. their food bill. Okay, so one last word then, Scott. If a nonprofit wants to join you, or if I go on and I say, you know, I really have a, a, a different kind of nonprofit in mind. We can easily have them uh, work with you? That's right. Right at the very top of our site, there's somebody that says, add a charity or school. Okay. There's a form that takes two minutes to fill out. Mm -hmm. It's vetted by our team. And the next thing you know it is your charity or school is earning money through the simple everyday actions of its supporters. Gee, you make it awfully easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can't complain. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck to you. And hopefully that we can get a lot of um, eyeballs out there right. to sign up. and. Right go support you and have a good meal at the same time. Scott, thank you for sharing the information. You make it easy. Thank you so much. All right, for thank you guys. Us.